welcome back to my channel. So as promised, this is part two of my desk makeover series, I'm calling it. Last week I did DIY desk decor ideas. Today I'm showing you some DIY desk organization ideas and how you can make your desk more functional, comfortable, ergonomic, ergono ergonomic? How do you say that word? Hold on, hold on. Of course, there's a YouTube video for that. Let's see. Ergonomic. Ergonomic. That's what I said, right? And if you missed the first part of this series, I will have the DIY desk decor video linked down below for you. So be sure to check that one out as well. And if you like DIY and organization type videos, you should definitely subscribe to my channel because I do these types of videos all the time. I've already done like at least a dozen. So I will have my playlist of my other DIY and organization videos I've done in the past below for you guys to check out. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And with all of that being said, Let's go ahead and get into our DIY desk organization ideas. So we're going to start with some quick tips on how to make our desk area more comfortable and productive. So one quick recommendation if you are a laptop user is to look into getting an external monitor. Looking at a small laptop screen for hours and hours on end can lead to hunching, squinting, neck pain. So for external monitors, there are so many different sizes and price options depending on what you want to get, but they just easily hook up to your laptop and it makes sitting at your desk a lot more comfortable. The next tip is for proper alignment, you want to look at your elbow and you want your elbow to be at a right angle with your desk. If it's too high or in my case too low, you just want to adjust your chair so that your elbow is in perfect alignment like so. And then from there, check your screen height. It should be directly at eye level. In my case, my monitor was too low, so I decided to prop it up with some books. But to make it look a little nicer, a super quick DIY is to just cover it with some pretty adhesive contact paper that goes with your desk color theme. I went with gold, but I also used a silver frame on its side because I liked how the silver and gold look together. And if you watched last week's video, you will know the story behind this picture. So this is just a super quick way to prop up your monitor and make it look a lot nicer. So once you have your screen at the right height, in terms of distance, you want it to be a full arm's length away from you. And the very last thing is you want to then check your feet. Similar to our elbows, we want our legs to be at a right angle with the ground. So if you're around five, six or under, there's a good chance like me, you'll need to prop up your feet. So what I decided to use for this is a foam roller and I will show you why. First off, it's the perfect height and I found one that's short enough that it fits perfectly and compactly under my desk. I like that it's movable so you can adjust it with your feet as you change positions throughout the day. But the best part is that this is multifunctional. You can also use it to take breaks during the day to improve your circulation and remove pressure in your legs and back. If you're not on the foam roller trend, I'm telling you, it is a life changer. I love my foam roller. This roller in particular is really cool because it has three and one. So there's a light pressure, medium pressure, and hard pressure depending on what you want. And then my dog decided to crash my foam rolling session with some stretching of her own and a little posing. So here are just a few of my favorite movements. I did a more in-depth foam roller tutorial in another video that I will have linked down below. Next, I'm going to show you some ideas for how to reduce stress while you're sitting at your desk. My concept here is something that I'm calling a serenity table. Basically, it's a side table next to your desk with some de-stress essentials. My first essential is my essential oil diffuser. Aromatherapy is really great for reducing stress and improving your mood. Citrus in particular is known to boost the mood, so that's what I use. And if you don't have access to an essential oil diffuser, you can just light your favorite candle. Next on here, I put a book that has different relaxation and mood exercises. Based on how you're feeling in that moment, it helps you feel better. This is one of my all-time favorite books. I'll have it linked below. And I also have my herbal supplements that help me manage my anxiety. And lastly, I have some quick and healthy snacks handy because no one wants to get hangry during the day. That's not pretty. So that's it. I put this all in its own little side table because I didn't want to clutter up my desk. And just having it there makes me feel more relaxed. So for the last thing I'm going to show you today, it is a DIY stand-up desk, but I wanted to pop back on here really quickly to explain to you why you might want a stand-up desk. So without going into too much detail and boring you guys, the gist of it is, is that sitting for long periods of time is not good for our body. There are people out there who are saying that it cuts down on our lifespan, it's not good for our circulation, and we all know it gets really uncomfortable sitting at a desk for a long period of time. I normally will sit and edit my videos for like 
10 to 14 hours at a time and I was getting the problem of really bad leg cramps and I couldn't physically sit any longer. So I wanted a stand-up desk for myself. I started looking into buying one and I realized they are incredibly expensive. And to make something like that from scratch is super complicated. We're not gonna go in that direction. You guys know I like to keep things very easy. So I came up with an idea in my head of what might work and I tested it out and it actually works really well and it was under $25. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and I will show you how I made my DIY stand-up desk. So what you're going to need for this is a folding bed tray table. The reason this works really well is first because it's inexpensive. This one was only $17 from Amazon. It's collapsible and easily storable. It is the perfect height and it's also sturdy. So to convert my desk into a stand-up desk with this tray only takes me literally one minute. All I do is I put my monitor and keyboard on top and it fits perfectly on my desk and it's the perfect height. The only problem was that my mouse was then too low to use comfortably. So I'm going to show you a quick multi purpose DIY for this. So you want to get a pretty box or you can cover a shoe box. First element is to put some contact paper on the top of it to make it a functional mouse pad. I found that having the contact paper helps my mouse work better than versus just on the cardboard. And then since this is a box after all, I wanted to use it as desk storage. So all you need to do for this is get some foam board or cardboard and mark where you want to make your cuts. I first made a larger compartment to go across the box and then I cut a smaller piece to divide one side of that into two. Then you just need to glue these down into the box and you have a little cute storage container. You can cover or paint these dividers if you want, but I thought they looked fine in white. And from there, I just put in my desk supplies, some post-it notes, mini stapler, tape, rubber bands. And now this box has three different uses on my desk. So it's a mouse pad, a flower stand, and as desk storage. So in addition to just being better for you, I also read that using a stand-up desk can help you be more productive and get work done faster. So I tested it out and actually edited this entire video using my stand-up desk. And I have to say, I love the experience and I was able to finish my video in record time. So you guys definitely have to try this out. It's pretty awesome. So that's it for now. And if there's anything else you see on my desk that you like, I showed how I made everything in last week's video, which was DIY desk decor. So be sure to click the link below to watch that video next. So that is it for today's DIYs. I hope you guys liked them. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and maybe even share it with your friends who are going back to school or maybe anyone you know who might need a stand-up desk. And if you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I do videos every week and they're usually pretty similar to this. DIYs, organization, I do healthy recipes. And also come find me on social media. It's the same name everywhere, Vassor Beauty, the same as my channel name. And with all of that being said, I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye. Hey guys, so we've saved the best for last. You may have heard of multitasking. Well today, I'm gonna show you mega ultra tasking. Okay, so our right hand, that's for all of our computering. For our left hand, we're gonna pump some iron. So we're gonna pump while we work. All right, step three, we're gonna use this headband here for our phone calls. Check this out. Get this in there, yeah. Okay, and step four, our feet. What are our feet doing? Nothing, they're being lazy. We're gonna change that. Okay, let's roll down here. Look at this, rolling our feet. Okay, and step five, this is all about food. We can't leave the desk, we're too busy. So we've got this food contraption eating device right here. You reach down, only you get a little food. If you can't reach your food, well, you gotta call in some reinforcements. Hand! Want to learn more? You can buy my book here, Mega Ultra Tasking, for the one-time low price of 999 bucks. It'll be linked in the description box below, and you're welcome.